Glory be to God. What another beautiful day the Lord has made and we are to rejoice and be glad in it. I would like you to invite your friends to uh, join us in today's broadcast as we're dealing with developing your faith. That's right. So invite someone to join us. Click on the share button and uh, let your friends uh, be blessed as well as we deal with the subject of faith that would actually help to prepare you to your place of destiny and accomplish all that God has destined for you. Right, so in invite your friends to do that and I believe that you will be blessed as you do. Right, let us pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, because you are such an awesome and a mighty God. Speak to us by your spirit. Let our lives be transformed and let there be an increase of our faith in you and in your word. And teach us, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Developing your faith. See, in God's kingdom, faith, faith is a currency. Faith becomes a currency. Because everything you desire, you receive by faith. You see, God does nothing except true faith. God doesn't do anything unless through faith. So whatever thing God does, or our relationship with God is by and through faith. You must understand that we are saved by grace through faith. So faith, of course, can only receive what grace has made available. So you are saved by grace, but through faith. Ephesians 2 verse 8 tells us that, For by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourself. It is the gift of God. So we are saved through faith. Now, we are to live our lives by faith. Hebrews 10 38, Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draws back, God says, My soul shall have no pleasure in him. So even your life should be lived by faith. We are to walk by faith. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. So we live in our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. To walk by faith is living your life in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's word. So, we also fight the good fight of faith. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. It's a fight, the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. We obtain good report by faith. See that? That means it tells us in uh, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 12, for by faith the elders obtained good report by faith. Now, we receive the promise of God by faith. Hebrews 6 verse 12, it says that, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. So you receive the promise of God by faith. Let it go in here. We are justified by faith. Justified means just as if you never sinned, only by faith. Romans 5 verse 1, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So you are justified by faith. Now, the other one I want to show you again, you have access into a life of favor through faith. Favor access into favor is by faith romans 5 verse 2 for by whom also we have access by faith into this grace favor where in which turn and rejoice in the hope of glory of god so you have access to the life of favor through faith keep going with this we are made righteous by faith 
Righteous means right standing with God by faith. Romans 3 verse 22, even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Christ Jesus Christ unto all who call upon them, all them that believe for there is no difference. So we are also, you, you are made righteous by faith. You only please God by faith. God is only pleased by faith. I mean, this is interesting that you know. God is only pleased by faith. Hebrews 11 verse 6. For without faith, it is impossible to please God or to walk with God and please Him. For whosoever that comes near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that He rewards those who earnestly and diligently seek Him. So without faith, you cannot please God. I know you want to be a God pleaser. It is only by faith. Now, our victory is our faith. 1 John 5 verse 4 For whosoever is born of God overcometh the word and this is the victory that overcome the word even our faith. So you can see right here that faith is very important. So you overcome by faith. You please God by faith. You are made righteous by faith. You have access to the life of favor by faith. You are justified by faith. You receive God's promise by faith. You obtain good report by faith. You fight the good fight of faith. We are to walk by faith. We are to live by faith. We are saved through faith. And many more by faith. Now, everybody, listen, I'm going to show you something here today. Everybody believer has been given the measure of faith measure the measure of faith now romans 12 verse 3 tells us for i say unto you through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself highly than he ought to think but to think soberly according as god has dealt to every man the measure of faith so we start in faith we must stay in faith and finish in faith. We start in faith, you stay in faith, and you finish in faith. So life of a Christian is a life lived by faith. It began with faith. You, can, you stay in faith as you live the life and you finish in faith. Now, Luke chapter 17 verse 3, the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith increase our faith which means really practically faith can be increased that means you will all, we all receive the measure of faith and your faith level can grow it can increase for real now without proper understanding of faith the Christian life becomes a struggle and that nothing works. Without proper understanding of the working of faith, the Christian life becomes a struggle and nothing works. What's faith? Faith is acting on the Word of God. That's why there are many Christians that don't understand that understand faith and life is not working right they don't have understanding of faith and everything you do the life you live everything is worked on by faith for the bible tells us uh, recorded the scripture that anything that is not done by faith is a sin so it's interesting to note that in the new testament the new covenant sin is whatever is done that is not of faith the bible tells us whatever is done that is not of faith is sin now what is faith is acting on the word of god until you understand it you will never experience the benefit of faith in your life now hebrews 11 verse 1 to verse 3 as i read the amplified classic i believe it says, now faith is the assurance faith is a title deed the confirmation 
of the things you hope for divinely guaranteed and is the evidence of things not seen so faith is an evidence the evidence that you are blessed is your faith the evidence that you are favored is your faith the evidence that you got the new car is your faith the evidence that you are healed is your faith the evidence that you are born again is your faith the evidence you are going to heaven is your faith so it tells us here that faith is the evidence of things not seen the conviction of their reality faith comprehending as fact that what cannot be experienced by the physical senses so faith is evidence faith comprehend as fact what you have not yet seen faith is the evidence faith is the proof faith is the title deed the proof that i am that i am victorious is my faith it is not in the victory itself it is my faith that is the proof of my victory that's that, that's that, that's what, that's what the bible tells us that that vic, that our faith our victory is our faith in first john 5 verse 4 so faith comprehend as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical sense i mean you don't wait to experience it before you believe you got it the bible tells us in verse 2 hebrews 11 verse 2 say for by this kind of faith men of old gained divine approval as amplified classic this kind of faith which is an evidence this kind of faith which is an assurance this kind of faith which is a confirmation this kind of faith which is a, which is like a title deed bible tells us you gain a divine approval divine approval from god now verse 3 tells us by faith that is an inherent trust and enduring confidence in the power the wisdom the goodness of god we understand that the words that the universe the ages were framed and created formed put in order and equipped for their intended purposes by the word of god so that what is seen with optical eyes was not made out of things which are visible that means the visible things you see are made out of immaterial stuff that means what you do not see is what produces what you see that means what you do not yet experience in the physical realm is produced by the things you do not yet see so the bible tells us in hebrews 11 verse 12 verse 1 to 3 therefore since we are surrendered by such a great cloud of witnesses who by faith have testified to the truth of god's absolute faithfulness stripping off every unnecessary weight and the sin which so easily and cleverly entangles or let us run with endurance and active persistence the race that is set before us looking away looking away that's important i'll deal with that the course of this week looking away from all that will distract us and focusing your eyes on jesus who is the author and the finisher the perfect of our faith look at what it says so now we know in, in from verse 1 to verse 3 we'll, we'll read that another time so but having the understanding and importance of faith we need to develop and increase our faith and to develop your faith it's important to know where your faith is as to know the point of reference you have to know the point of reference where is your faith where does faith reside where does faith live in where is faith located and how do i develop it now i'm going to share some few scriptures that will try to conclude so this is just this is just a foundational teaching as we conclude this at the end of this week now hebrews romans 12 verse 3 says for i say unto you through the grace that is given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself highly than he ought to think 
but to think soberly according as God has given to every man the measure of faith. It is important to know the term measure refers to degree. It refers to an amount, refers to quantity. So it means that every believer has been given the measure of faith. The measure of faith. Now Romans 1 verse 7 tells us to all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God unto you and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now every man is referring to Christians. Now not everyone that ever lived but the saints. So every man that is a believer has the measure of faith. And God wants you and I not to stay in that measure but to develop it you have to develop your faith based on where you are in your faith you develop your faith based on where you are in your faith now in general there are two kinds of faith you have one we refer to as god kind of faith you receive that measure of God kind of faith at salvation. It's your heart with no physical evidence. God kind of faith. Now the other type of faith is called a formal kind of faith. It is a faith that is based on your five senses. The faith based on your five senses. You have God kind of faith. You have Thomas kind of faith. Now the faith we want to develop is the God kind of faith and the God kind of faith is divided into four and it's important to know where you are and where you want to go but I'm out of time I'm out of time but listen I'm gonna continue with this tomorrow the four kind of God kind of faith and you know your reference point you begin to develop to get to the place where God wants you to be. Now, God tells us in this word, everything we do, our life we live, everything we do is by faith. When you understand faith and how it works, you receive it. Nothing becomes denied you. Nothing can be denied to a man or woman who live and operate on the basis of faith in the word of God. I am out of time. I'm out of time. Listen, I want you to log on again tomorrow. But at the same time, I'm going to be continue with this teaching. I know your life will not remain the same. So don't forget to do that. Share this video with your friends. Remember, there are three ways you can be a blessing to this ministry. If it has blessed you one way or the other. One, you share the video. Number two, you pray for the ministry. And number three, you support the ministry financially. You connect with your finances so that the grace of God upon this ministry is also released upon your life. Until we meet again tomorrow, remember this, you have been destined to win and there is nothing the devil can do about it. Keep on walking by faith and not by sight. Your victory is already guaranteed. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.